let's add a UV sphere this time. Go into edit mode. Select the bottom half and delete. We'll select the faces we need for the array modifier. Shift D, then P. Delete the original sphere. Now let's add an empty. Go back to the object and add an array modifier. Turn off relative object, turn on object offset, and select the empty as the object. Type an 8 for the count, then select the empty for Z rotation. Blender does calculations for you, so just type in 360 slash 8 then enter. Go into edit mode. Move the verts down to shape. Control A to apply the modifier. Then select all verts in edit mode and press M to merge by distance. I usually enter 0.01 for merge distance. Let's get rid of the empty. Then press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier. We'll add a solidify modifier too. Add some loop cuts and increase thickness. Let's move the shade up to position. It's time to make the body. I'll hide the shade by pressing H. Shift A to add a single vert. Move it to the right, then start extruding. You don't have to copy mine exactly. Make yours any shape you want. We're just shaping the profile for the screw modifier. If you're done extruding and shaping the profile, add the screw modifier. I've assigned F5 shortcut for the face orientation overlay. Check flip under normals if yours is red. Add a subdivision modifier by pressing Ctrl 1. Go into edit mode and add more verts by pressing Ctrl R. You need more verts for sharper edges and rounder areas.
Apply all modifiers once you're satisfied with the shape. Now close the bottom by selecting the loop and pressing F to fill. Let's inset once. Do the same for the top. Unhide the shade and see if you like it. I applied the modifier and scaled mine bigger. Make sure you apply transforms by pressing Ctrl A if you made any transforms like scale and rotate in object mode. Let's add a single vert again and extrude to make the top piece. I'm going to snap the vert before start extruding. Once again, how you shape it is up to you. Add the screw modifier. Make sure the normals are flipped the right way. Refine the shape. I've applied the screw modifier, then filled the top and inset. I've applied the subdivision modifier before adding the solidify modifier. I'm going to scale it a bit larger. Now wasn't that a lot of fun? I think Blender's screw modifier is a great tool for modeling circular shapes. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to support my channel and I'll see you soon.